All right, I've my, my phone's been not been working for a few days. Don't even ask. It's still not right now. The guys let me down, but it doesn't matter. Well, I've been busy. I've been doing some um, portraits and that. I thought I'd show you a bit of the stuff what I've been doing, just to see what. Well, we can, anyone can do this. I couldn't draw the curtains before I tried to learn off YouTube. So there we go. Here we go. That's my first portrait. That's my mum. That's my mum there, sorry. And that's um, my self -port my portrait. Not very good, obviously, but not bad first effort. And there's my first, well, it's supposed to be acrylic. I ended up buying oil paint. And it's so difficult, it's unbelievable, but there it is. And that's me's second one, which is not as good as the first one, I don't know. Um, and there's a face, I just do faces. And I also did, that's supposed to be Anthony Joshua. I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah. It's kind of. But I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I also had a little mess around in the garden this, yesterday. As you can see, look. What I had to do is repot some plants and prioritise. Because there were some plants that were growing, but not nutrition -y value, high, high nutrition value. So anybody wanting to grow some vegetables for thrive and survive reasons, it's going to have to be potatoes and runner beans and maybe tomatoes and a few spices like mint and things like that. Or cabbage, onions, onions, peas. I know they're not very high new value but I've only got two. And I've got potatoes in there, runner beans, high in protein runner beans. I think they're radishes, more tomatoes. <coughs> Carrots, radishes, and runner beans, more runner beans. I'm gonna plant more runner beans today. Because between potatoes and runner beans and spices and garlic that I've got out here and mint and coriander, I quite happily survive on that, no problem whatsoever. No problem. Oh look, I've got my fishing rods there, look. And my tomato plants. Look at that, you see, you've got to utilise everything. You see? There. And also, I'm going to get a big box and put potatoes on there but because you've got to have holes in the bottom of your buckets or bowls whatever you've got for the water to drain out it takes a lot of water so I don't want to be overusing the water as well so I've got to try and raise the potato bed up and put plants underneath so when I water the potatoes the plants underneath get water and the ones underneath them get water that's the plan because as water gets scarce, or if there's a power outage and the water goes off, your plants will die without water, obviously. So, trying to utilise the, the water that you've got and, and preserve it, it's best to set up some kind of um, f ebb and flow system. Flood and drain, where you flood the top one, it drains to the bottom one, a bit like growing cannabis, according to a friend of mine. Right, well, I'm just going to go to the shop to get a few things. Well, it's early in the morning and there's no queues. I hope you're all well. And I've been missing for a few days. Not that anybody's noticed, but it's just nice to come on and have a little chat. So I might do a little walk and talk, go in the shop, I don't know yet. But anyway, peace out, guys.